Hi, it's Greg here, um, and here I am with my demo of sending email using Vim. Um, now, because this is my personal email, I'm gonna have to censor some of the stuff that's on the screen, unfortunately, but hopefully, even with parts of the screen blanked out, you can get a sense of you know, what this workflow looks like. Um, but basically, this is what MUT looks like. Um, as you can see, I can integrate it in the terminal. This is iTerm. Um, I can have it show me like how many unread messages I have so that, for example, when I'm over here in another tab, I can at a glance see uh, if there's anything there that I should be looking at. Um, keyboard navigation is the way you get around in this thing. Um, so I promised that I'd show you how to look at stuff in Vim. So let, let's show you what uh, composing a new email looks like. So I'm gonna hit C and then I'm gonna like type an email address I'm gonna auto complete that. Um, I'll just skip the subject for now and voila, I'm in Vim. Um, and as usual, I can just type stuff. So <laughs> hi there to myself. Um, and then when I'm ready to go, I can just exit out of the editor. And at this point, uh, I'm back in Mutt again and I can actually send that message by hitting Y. Um, and it is possible to set the, the mail up to go into a queue and send in the background, but I actually kind of like having it happen in a blocking way in the foreground. Um, that way, if there's any error, I could just go straight in there and fix it immediately. Uh, and I tend not to send too much email, so these little you know two second delays don't bother me at all. Um, so let's compose another email again. Um, I'm gonna go back to send another email to myself. Um, one other aspect of the integration here um, is auto completion of email addresses. So just say, uh, I wanted to send an email to, once again, myself. Um, I can auto-complete, that's done via um, you complete me. Uh, and that's the main thing that I wanted to show in the compose view. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is because you're um, using Vim to send the email, uh, the, the mail file type is active, so you can customize what Vim does by setting up file type specific settings. So actually I'm going to show you those right now. So if we go to my mail specific settings, which are just there, the only one I've got set is um, to turn spell checking on. So if I type random with a spelling error, it gets underlined. Um, so that's useful. Um, but also note here that I've had to set up some stuff in an after plugin. Um, so I'm going to open that. So as this comment notes, uh, by default, if you uh, try to override the text width to something other than, um, like if you try to set st override the default text width to zero to get unlimited width, um, then the, the plugin that gets bundled with Vim is actually gonna override it and set it back to 72, which will hard wrap it. Um, so by setting after that plugin has run, the text width back to zero, it won't get hard wrapped. Um, and why do we wanna not hard wrap? Um, the reason is, even though email uh, is supposed to look good on terminals, uh, because it, you know this standard originated you know back in the 70s, um, when you send a hard wrapped email to somebody on an iPhone or something, it's going to look like rubbish because the lines are going to wrap, uh, and then you'll take it to the end of the line where the actual hard wrap is, and it'll wrap again, and you get this like jagged uh, uh, kind of wrap, which just looks disgusting. Um, so one way around that is to use this format called um, format flowed, which unfortunately Gmail doesn't support, which means that uh, pretty much almost the entire world who might be reading your email will have it look like garbage. Um, and so the alternative then is to use this thing called quoted printable, which may be back in the day some clients didn't support, but now basically every client that matters does support. And Mutt is going to use that automatically. Um, so just say, if my text width was 72, hard wrapped, uh, Mutt would send the email like using just a plain text encoding. But when I use long lines, it's actually going to use quoted printable automatically without me having to set anything up. And that's gonna display just great um, every, any way you might wanna send it. Um, so let's get out of the compose view there. Um, so that was sending mail and I'm just gonna get rid of that mail there. Oops, and I accidentally opened a mail. Um, one thing to bear in mind about Mutt uh, is it's got a huge number of key bindings, which I'll show some of them here. I've turned off a bunch because I found that it was it was almost like dealing with like a porcupine because no matter which key I accidentally bumped into, it was gonna do some operation. So um, like you just saw, it's like really easy to kind of accidentally do stuff in. But, um, but that's the composition flow. Um, and so I'm gonna cut it here and I'll be back in a minute with some more.